Imagine being able to charge an electronic device in seconds and having that charge last almost twice as long as usual. Well, with this new invention, that is possible. Researchers have developed an amazing way of creating supercapacitors that could make our current batteries obsolete. Hello and welcome to Nerd Sanctum. Today in tech news, researchers have developed a new method of creating supercapacitors that could soon start to replace the conventional battery share of the energy storage market. Researchers at Monash University, led by Professor Dan Lee, have developed a revolutionary method of creating graphene-based supercapacitors. Although supercapacitors have many amazing traits like being able to recharge in seconds or having an extremely long lifespan, they've always had one massive barrier preventing them from becoming a useful commercial energy storage product. Capacitors have always had a very low energy density, meaning that they either had to be gigantic to store a reasonable amount of energy or be a normal size and store a very little amount of energy, neither of which are preferable, which is the essence of why the capacitor has yet to replace the conventional lead acid battery. Old supercapacitors are similar to the new method, they just don't have the unique design that allows for optimum volume efficiency. The old design was too bulky and not compact enough to be a practical commercial solution. But before I get into the technical parts of a capacitor and how this new method is better, let me first explain what exactly a capacitor is. A capacitor is simply a mechanism to store energy like a battery. But the fundamental difference between the two is the anatomy of how they store charges differently. A battery stores energy electrochemically by moving liquid ions between two oppositely charged terminals, while capacitors store energy electrostatically as a magnetic field between plates. A capacitor is composed of two plates with equal and oppositely charged sides, one positive and the other negative. When a current flows through a capacitor, it attracts electrons to one plate creating a magnetic field between the plates. Then when the current source stops flowing, the magnetic field can be used to induce a current and keep charges flowing throughout the circuit. But if that wasn't clear enough, I'll describe capacitors with an everyday example with household devices. Imagine any electronic device that you can unplug and it doesn't instantly turn off. That device still has energy that is powering it for a temporary amount of time. That energy is not coming from the circuit it was disconnected from, it's coming from the capacitor within the device. When you first plug that device in, current from the socket was building up a magnetic field in a capacitor. Then when you unplugged that device, that magnetic field was used to continue the flow of energy until that magnetic field dissipated all of its energy. Now that we have a basic understanding of how capacitors work, let's look at how this new method is a great improvement. These new supercapacitors are composed of two major components, graphene sheets and liquid electrolytes. Graphene is a material one atom's length in thickness composed of carbon atoms in a hexagonal pattern. Graphene is famous for its amazing properties. Even though it's a sheet only one atom thick, it is the strongest material known to man. It's also extremely light because it's so thin and is very, very conductive. This is why it's the best material to be used in these capacitors. Liquid electrolytes are liquids that are able to carry charges and are used in capacitors for two reasons. One is that they can distribute the charges from the various sheets throughout the liquid, allowing efficient energy flow. The other is that they can be used to separate these graphene sheets while keeping them less than a nanometer's distance apart, which allows the capacitor to not waste space and keep it as compact, dense, and volume efficient as possible. Combined together, this team has developed a graphene gel film that is extremely efficient in many ways. The energy density of this new design far surpasses any capacitor ever made. Energy density is the ratio of the possible amount of energy stored over the volume of the device. Previous designs could only hold about 5 to 8 watt hours per liter of volume, while this new design has an energy density of 60 watt hours per liter. So in basic terms, if we had two capacitors of the same size, one made with the old method and one made with the new method, the new method would be able to store about 12 times as much energy. 
With this new type of graphene-based supercapacitor that surpasses the energy density issues of previous designs, we can start an energy storage revolution. This team states that they're on the verge of turning from lab to commercial development. So very soon when this product gets created on an industrial scale and gets some media coverage, we can expect many great developments to follow. Not only are we going to see an increase in the quality of energy storage, but also an increase in the quality of electronic devices because they can store more energy in the same amount of volume. So that's today's tech news. If you like this episode, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to hear more tech news. If you have any questions about this episode or would like me to cover another topic, please leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, have a good day.